No, Brian, under-17 head coach. Hey, what are your thoughts on the game tonight? Um, I thought on the overall game, I thought we deserved to win the game. Um, I thought our first 35 minutes was excellent. Uh, I thought we used the ball really well, created a couple of good goal-scoring opportunities. Um, deservedly took the lead in the, in the in the second half, possibly between the first and second. We had a couple of two or three other good goal-scoring opportunities. Um, and yeah, I felt we deserved to win the game. Yeah, um, from all my thoughts from watching it, um, I just felt like we limited them to not that many chances. And from our own point of view, I thought you know we caused them a lot of problems, especially down the wings and up front. Yeah, look, they they they, they came out of the blocks. The players, they were you know they've been bursting the goal all week. Um, you know, I think people saw some good play. Number one saw some good players. Number two, and yeah, we did limit them. Um, but the way the other result went today in the group, everybody's on uh, the same goals for and against, same points. Uh, so it's all to play for now going into game two and three. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what, what was it like for us? I've personally seen such a good crowd coming out and actually supporting the boys tonight. I mean, there was a good crowd and, you know, everyone was there in voice and in numbers. Yeah, look, uh, the other support will always come out and uh, support the teams. We were looking at that pre-tournament and uh, I know everybody appreciated it. You could see the lift the players got from it. I think there was over 4,000 people here tonight. Uh, that would have been the first uh, you know, type of crowd or big crowd they would have played in front of. So for their own development, uh, I thought they handled it very well. Yeah, they seem to be like taking it all in their stride as well as that. I mean, the, obviously our goal, uh, the celebrations was great to see and it just it was a real togetherness about that uh, group. Yeah, look, we're, we're big on that mentality with them. We do everything together, you know, win, lose or draw, we, you know, we would stick together. That, that's part of our DNA, uh, that togetherness and dynamic. And on top of it tonight, um, I think be a lot of people saw some good football from Irish players. Absolutely. I think I, I was in amongst the crowd and a lot of people were impressed with just playing the ball out from the back, you know, how calm and composed, especially the players receiving the ball in the middle of the park. Was this something you worked on? It's something that's been going on in this country for a good number of years now, and, and what, what I'm delighted to see is uh, that you know the nation saw it tonight, the public saw it tonight, and um, now those people can start making up their own minds about how our young players play and the quality of them. Absolutely, and then just lastly, um, how are the lads feeling after after the result? Are they still remaining positive after that? It must feel like a, a bit of a defeat because the goal scored so late. Yeah, but the decision as well, so they're, yeah, they're kind of they'd be a little bit upset with that. Um, but they, um, no, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. There's, um, there's, there's good personalities there. They have a strong backroom team. Um, we'll recover tomorrow, and um, we'll be back on the pitch Sunday, and we'll be looking for a big crowd in Waterford on Monday. Absolutely. Well, best luck Monday, and good job tonight. All right. Thank you. Well done. Thanks.